Hey guys, it's Elizabeth of ERWPlans.com on Instagram, ERW underscore plans, and on Etsy, ERWPlans.etsy.com. You can also sponsor on Patreon, patreon.com slash ERWPlans. Today, we're going to learn how you can determine whether the Amplify Planner or the Passion Planner daily is the right daily planner for you. First, we're going to start by going over the features of each planner. I will start with the Amplify Planner. Um, if you didn't know, uh, Chelsea Brown of Chelsea Brown Designs has created her own planner. It's called the Amplify Planner. Uh, about a year ago, I got to test it out and I did a live video that's available in the uh, YouTube live section of this channel where you can kind of see my initial thoughts of, on the um, Amplify Planner. And after using it for about a year now, uh, I, ha I can show you how the planner's laid out um, and we can talk about features and benefits. We can talk about the things I would change if it was up to me and I was creating the planner. So first of all, it is a B5 size planner that is the same as the Passion Planner weekly medium size. So if you have a medium Passion Planner, it, as you can see, it's slightly wider than the medium Passion Planner, just, just slightly. This has been stickered up, but it's when they're not stickered, they're about the same thickness. Um, and it's like I said, it's a standard B5. This is a Scribbles That Matter B5. It's the pages themselves are B5 sized. The cover is slightly wider because it comes pre-tabbed. So there's that. Um, if you have a B5 cover, if you have a B5 cover for your Passion Planner, like this is my B5 cover for my Passion Planner Weekly, this will fit. This, is, this covers from Cocoa Paper, and as you can see, you can either put it in the front or the back, it'll fit just fine. So uh, if, you, if you have a planner cover that's a B5 and you're, or you're looking for a B5 cover, you can use the, this cover here, like I said, which is from Cocoa Paper, um, and it'll fit just fine. is basically laid out similar to every other planner. Um, this one I've stickered over. You have a how the planner is laid out, how the planner works section, a special dates section for future logs, future planning, um, three month goals breakdown, and then we get right into the uh, monthly calendars. Uh, I have a lot of videos on the channel. You can see how I use the Amplify um, monthly calendar, the weekly calendar here, and the uh, daily calendars here. And so let me get a blank one to show you. I have a blank one. This is what the, like the blank month will look like. At the end you have your quarterly review. This is the weekly. As you can see, it's a horizontal layout instead of a vertical layout. I know that's kind of unusual for some people, but that um, you'll, there's videos on my channel of how to use the horizontal layouts instead of the vertical layouts that all of us are used to in the past room. And then you have your daily spreads. Daily spreads are, you have from 5 a.m. to 11 p.m. calendar on the side. You have your these are called the freedom boxes that are great. They have a very light kind of white color here to them. Um, they have this gray freedom box up here, a daily habit section, top priorities, your top three to do's, work tasks, personal task. And then I don't know what we want to call this down here in passion planner world. We call this the space of infinite possibility. And it, it's, it's a tiny little space. It, but you know, if you're, if you've mostly been using your space of infinite possibility in your passion planner daily to list tasks, you have so much task list room here and here and here that this little space down here, which works out to be 
about six centimeters high by about usable width, about 16 and a half centimeters long. I think that will work for you if you're not journaling in it. You could still do it like I did Inktober last year, just using this little space here. Um, all of the weeks start with a, uh, their Monday start weeks, Monday start weeks here, and then the calendars themselves are Sunday start, just to give you a little bit of information there. Um, and every week you get starts with the horizontal weekly layout. This is from my video where I showed you how to use the horizontal weekly layout. And then you get a, bl a full B5 blank page and then you go right into your dailies. Uh, you also have, I believe it's 12, I'd have to double check, but I believe it's 12 blank dot grids at the back after your quarterly reflection section. So the other neat thing about this is that it does have a two-sided pocket in the back. Um, it's a little bit small for my stickers or Chelsea stickers for that matter. Um, and yes, I do have Amplify stickers in my shop, but it's really good if you had any bookmarks or if you're using any of the pocket size stickers, the, that'll fit in the little pocket really well. Or if you even have a small notebook, that'll fit any kind of small A5 paper will fit in the back page. So those are all of your features. Um, the things I really like about the Amplify Planner are that it's pre-tabbed. You don't have to go out and buy a bunch of tabs and they're big, bold tabs um, that are really, I mean, it, it takes, it would take a lot of effort to actually hurt these tabs. And because the cover is that much longer, wider, I should say, than the paper itself, the tabs don't get ruined because the cover is actually just slightly longer than the tab so you have to like leave it open like this in your bag in order to damage the to even attempt to damage these tabs at all um i like that there isn't a lot of extraneous space in the front um you, like i said it's a here's how the planners this is about the planner here's the layout all, one page for about one page for how it's laid out and how to use it one and then you have your future your future dates and then you can use this i've seen people use this as a birthday track birthday and anniversary tracker i use this as a future log for the next year in the same way that i use the uh pages in the daily as a future log um power but you're, you can use it however you want i like the three month goal breakdown i like that there's just so much that's functional about this there's not a short story in the front there you know there isn't a two-page spread it just it feels like there's a lot of wasted space in some planners in the front this one that we're just going to get right into what we're doing so um i like that the blank layouts let me bring april back up again and you get this bonus calendar in the back um i like that the count that the planner is dated there is not an undated option for this I like that the calendar is dated. I like that all the days are dated so that if I don't sticker, like I, I can sticker it. If I don't sticker it, I can still use it. Like if I just feel lazy or whatever, you don't have to have stickers. You can, you can use it. I like that there are only five week layouts. There isn't um, a variable six week layout to this. And on the months that should in Passion Planner World have a six week layout, I think January was one of them. They just do this thing where they cut the day in half here. So your sticker kit, if you wanted to use like this January sticker kit that I did in March, you could do that. You just wouldn't use, you just cover where it says January with March and just go because it, it's real. These little blocks will always fit this planner. Um, so that's some of the really cool stuff about this. It's so flexible that it, I actually enjoy designing stickers for it because it's flexible without being too crazy with different sizes and things. Um, and I like how much to do space there is. I mean, I, there's only a total of 13 to do spaces in your passion planner daily. Um, there's the top three to do five work, five, um, personal tasks. There is so much space. There is so much to do space. If you, like I said, if you use the, 
space of infinite possibility for additional tasks because you need more tasks space you've got just so much space in this one um and for the people who get really annoyed by like the 12 o'clock being grayed in this one it's it's just like everything else so you can use it you can redate this it's it's redate the timeline i should say it's great so those are the benefits uh the one thing that is a benefit in some ways and not in others is the spiral it does not come in a bound a uh, lay flat bound version it only comes in the spiral bound version and i am going to show you in a future video how you can uncoil this and create your own cover and turn this into a bound planner uh, but it's it, it's let me tell you it's quite a lot of work and <laughs> While I do like that I can do this and just focus on one day at a time this way, what I don't like is my hand running into this when I'm trying to write. And if you're a lefty, this is just annoying. I'm not, I'm right-handed. And uh, so it really only, this coil almost only is really problematic when I'm trying to write over here because then my wrist is running into it and it's just, it just bothers me. Um, that's, I, I think it would be, for me personally, the biggest drawback is this coil here. Um, I think that for me, one of the other biggest drawbacks to it is the fact that it's the B5 size. So it's not as portable as my Passion Planner Daily. My Passion Planner Daily, I can throw it into my purse and just go to the grocery store and use a grocery list out of it. This is just a bit large for me personally for you know traveling with but this works great as like a daily desk calendar like if i'm going to work i can throw it in a briefcase throw in a backpack put it on my desk and work from my task list and my to-do list all day it's just not something that if you're going to be using getting it out repeatedly uh it's something that could get a little bit cumbersome but that's the amplify planner and then This is the Passion Planner Daily. Uh, this is one of the ones that was released in 2000. If you have one of the colors or the designs that was released in 19, uh, 19 <laughs> in 2019, if you have one of those that includes the Elite Black, Elite Black was designed and released in 2019. I'm trying to be real clear about that because there seems to be some confusion. If you have one of the 2019 colors or the Elite Black, which was released in 2019, there is a different layout inside than the ones that were released in 2020. The ones that were released in 2020 are the Blush Blossom, the Gold Getter Gray, the Forest Green, and the Champagne. If you have Blush Blossom, Champagne, Forest Green, or Gray, those are 2020. Those will be the same as what I'm about to show you. If you have any other color, including Elite Black, the inside will look different. So that's just to be very, very, very clear, that's either the Tranquil Tones or the, uh, forget the other one because I bought Tranquil Tones, but if you got one of those that came in like the four packs, then this does not apply to you. Okay, now that we're squared away. This is the Passion Planner Daily that were released in 2020, not 2019 start you have a note from Angelia how to get the most out of your planner how it works inspiration for your free space and a just start cover page you have your passion planner roadmap and game changer goal this is your blank kind of special dates dates to remember future log however you want to use this two pages of it and then we get into blank monthlies. You have your blank monthly with six weeks in it. It's otherwise laid out exactly like the Passion Planner weeklies. And then a self check-in and a new game changer goal page. And you have four of those, so four sets of those. So four sets of blank monthly, monthly review essentially, and the goal for the next month, okay? Four. 
at the end of the fourth month, you have your self check-in and a quarterly review section. Then we get right into the pages themselves. Show you one that is blank. Um, you have your daily focus at the top. Date goes over here. That's why I sell the stickers that redate it with the date to the far left. That's why I prefer the date. Um, game changer goal, three spaces. Personal goal, personal tasks, five spaces. Work, five spaces. Giant free space to grow, which is what this section in the front is for to give you ideas of what you can put in that free space to grow. Self maintenance, best thing that happened today, I learned today in a word, mood tracker. 5 a.m. to 11 p.m. calendar. And then a full A5 space of infinite possibility. This planner, by the way, is A5 size. That's the same as the Passion Planner Small. Any full page stickers that you're going to get for the Passion Planner Small will fit the Passion Planner Daily and vice versa as long as it's a full page sticker. Important to note that this calendar in the front is not the same height and width as the calendar in the Passion Planner Small. So if you get a calendar kit, sticker kit from a shop that's for the Passion Planner Small, it's not going to fit in the Passion Planner Daily. Just keep that in mind. Otherwise, it's an A5 size. So if you have a cover for the most part, the A5 covers will fit this. The one exception is on jet pens. There is a clear plastic cover that does not fit this. Um, it says right on it that it's for the A5 with a cover. They mean a cover in addition to this cover. So like if you have um, a cover from Cocoa Paper, you can put the plastic over that, but it won't fit on this. Otherwise, anything that says A5 is going to fit this planner. You get 93 pages of this. They used to be, as you know, if you have the old one, they were broken up. Um, they're no longer broken up but with uh, monthly reviews. It's just straight 93 pages. And then you get to the back and it's 12 pages of dot grid. Okay. And you have back pocket, same as you usually do with your little sticker, little card from them. Last year, they, they gave us these actually really cool cards last year um, with a note to self and a 2020 calendar. I'm guessing 2020 was such a crappy year that they just didn't even bother with the 2021 version of that calendar. Um, it no longer comes with that. So if you're looking for like, where's the 2021? 2020s don't come with that. If you get a Elite Black, because it's a 2019, you might get a 2020 calendar with it, but there is no 2021 calendar or a 2022 calendar. Nope, nope. So that is the Passion Planner Daily. The features and benefits that I like the best about this planner, I'm going to say are probably just how big everything is. Um, the timeline is actually narrower than the one in the Amplify, but I don't really use the timeline that often, if I'm perfectly honest with you guys. I mostly use the task lists and the space of infinite possibility. And the task lists, I like having them wider like this because um, my handwriting's pretty big. Um, I know a, there's a lot of confusion and I have a few different videos on the channel you can check out to kind of address this. There's a lot of confusion about the fact that this is an A5 size planner. This, these task bars are not the same ta width as the small. This is not the same width as the small. Uh, so if you're like, oh, I really need a large version of the Passion Planner Daily because, no, th this is huge. This is, this is huge. Let me show you in my Passion, I have videos, but because people just seem to keep having the same misconception, I'm just gonna show you. This is the medium. As you can see, the taskbar here, the daily taskbar here, is wider than the medium. These spaces are uh, longer than the medium. The task list here, I'm just gonna move it right on over, is the almost, almost the same width 
as the medium, it's actually slightly wider. So if the medium is too small for you, maybe you have a complaint. But if you're using the medium, I do not want to hear, oh, an A5 daily, that's too small for me to write. If you can write in this, this is bigger. So I want to hear it, okay? And like I said, there's other videos you can check out where I do a full what, what the dimensions are for the Passion Planner Daily and um, how I'm using the Passion Planner Daily. I have some plan with me videos, so if you want to see me set it up, that's cool too. End of the day, the differences are Amplify Planner, the big difference is the weekly layout. There is no weekly layout in the Passion Planner Daily. They're both quarterly planners. They do not have a full year. And if you bought the, either the bundle of the Passion Planner Daily or you bought the bundle of the Amplify Planner, each has all four quarters in it. You'd see why, because you would have a planner that was like that thick. That's insane, okay? So they're quarterly. The Amplify Planner has the weekly layout in it. Passion Planner does not have a weekly layout in it. Um, Passion Planner does not come with tabs the way that the Amplify Planner does. And the layout, if you like the undated layout in Passion Planner, this should be no problem for you to just go set up all your monthlies in the front and then set up all your weeklies in the back. Um, what I have found is that I end up needing two tabs to use, two sets of tabs to use this Amplify Planner daily. Um, I need a set for the monthlies so I can get to my monthlies and then I need a set for where my dailies are. That's just how I use it. It does come with this little handy, little usual handy bookmark. And of course you can add other bookmarks. See my other videos for how to add a bookmark um, to your passion planner. So in theory, you wouldn't, you don't necessarily need to have tabs. You, if you're just using it as you go, you could put your bookmark in for that day, put the bookmark in for that month, and then just keep using your bookmark to go forward. Um, other solutions include washi tape on the edges. However, um, I find it, I sometimes need to go forward. Like this is going to be April, May, June for me. Um, maybe in April, I'm trying to plan something for June or even July, because there's four months worth of calendar in here. And then I got to flip, then I got to be like, okay, if my bookmark is in the first month, let's open that up. If my bookmark is in April, because that's the month I'm in, and, I, uh, and someone's like, hey, can we do something in June? Oh, April, May, June, okay. I, I just put the extra tabs in there and call that good. Um, same thing with the back pages. Um, as I'll show you in some future videos, I do plan out things on certain days. So when I set up this planner, there will be game changer goals already set for certain dates because I use this for business and I have certain things that have to happen on a certain day. And so I will go through and put my deadlines in. So I do want, and you know, that's counting out. Okay, here's, I count out 31 of them. Then I put my little tab in for the next month, count out however many days are in that month, etc. going forward. So I find that either I'm going to need two sets of tabs or a lot of bookmarks or a lot of washi tape in this thing. Um, whereas the Amplify Planner comes with the bookmarks already. The downside to that is that you can't bookmark in, a, in any meaningful, permanent sort of way the Amplify Planner. I've seen people tape, glue, staple, a ribbon in here. And the biggest problem with that is because of the way it closes, unless you do it on the back here and then never flip it closed, um, once you add a ribbon, it's not gonna close. So that that's your biggest issue. You could, in theory, uh, glue your ribbon into the cover itself and then just use the ribbon when it's closed and flip it over when it's open. Um, I think the best solution would be to do an elastic here and an elastic here, and then just have this elastic open to the weekly, and then this one open to the day of the week that you're using. Um, 
or just kind of, you know, go to February and then start flipping through. The uh, other big difference is that this one is dated. This one is undated. Sorry. The uh, Amplify Planner is dated. The Passion Planner is undated. There are no dated daily passion planners. I see people say, oh, I saw on Amazon there's a dated daily. There is no dated daily passion planner. If someone is selling one to you, it's a knockoff or they've dated it themselves. There are no dated daily passion planners currently. And I, that depends whether that's a feature or a drawback or whether that um, is what's going to make you go to one or the other, I think really depends on how you're using your, this. If you are going to use something every single day, every day you have a ton of stuff to do and it's going to like basically run your life, I would absolutely get the Amplify because you have the weekly and you have the um, daily here that's already dated out. And so you don't have to do that every day. You don't have to set anything up. You can just run with it. If you're using your planner for a nine to five Monday through Friday job, or if you're using it as kind of like a journal where you're not going to necessarily plan every day, then I would go with an undated. So that way you, maybe you'll get more than three quarters out of it. Maybe you'll get four quarters out of this because you're not using it every day, which that fourth calendar comes in real handy or you don't even use the calendars. Um, so it really depends on how frequently are you using this? Are you going to use this every single day versus is this something that you'll use occasionally? Um, other considerations, how much space do you need every day for uh, things that aren't tasks? Um, the way I've used the Amplify in the past, I've used the Freedom Boxes for meal tracking. I've used them for project tracking. I've used them to do my daily review. Um, best thing that happened, things that could improve, uh, goals for tomorrow, that kind of thing. Um, and I have a lot of stickers in the shop that you can use to, you know, change these to kind of be what you want them to be. Um, and then you have this, like I said, it's, it's a good size down here. Um, you have a little bit less flexibility, I personally feel, in the Passion Planner as far as the pre-printed side goes. Um, you can, I, and I have before, used the word bars that are in my shop for Passion Planner Daily to subdivide this. I also have a daily journal sticker that's, uh, I think, four stickers on a sheet for four dollars, so it's a dollar sticker, that covers this entire section with boxes. That, but that are about this size so that you can use this to do like a little daily journal prompts for gratitude and things. Um, I find it's much easier though, like if I'm meal planning, this is way easier to be breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, exercise, than to kind of like sticker over these. Uh, there's just, it, this works better for my handwriting and how I, I track that. On the other hand, I get creative sometimes with my space of infinite possibility. Um, I sometimes use it as a, for a running task list. Sometimes I use it to just draw. I keep my therapy notes in it. Um, and so that's why I really like is I have this huge space. So like when I go to my Weight Watchers meetings, I can take as much or as little notes as, po as I want on here. Um, on the other hand, I have seen some people's YouTube channels where they're just stickering the heck out of this side to use up the space. I personally find that ridiculous. If, if you're not using this whole space, then just leave it blank. There's nothing wrong with a blank page. Or go to the Amplify and you don't have as much blank space. So if you're not journaling, you're not drawing with it, then this may actually be the better planner for you. Um, I think at the end of the day, when you're trying to choose which of these is going to be the better daily planner for you, what you need to consider are what your planning style is, how much space you need, and how much freedom you need in your planner. Um, th those are your big considerations. Other considerations is going to, I would say, is how much do you want to invest in stickers? Um, I find that the passion planner just lends itself more towards stickering in general. Um, how much do you want to invest in tabs? Again, or washi tape. Um, 
and just generally ask yourself, what am I using this planner for? First and foremost, are you using it daily to keep track of your whole life? Or are you using it for a day job? Or are you just using it when you have a particularly busy day ahead of you? Then ask what you're going to do with this planner. Is it going to be task related? Is it going to just, is it going to be creative? Are you a creative type? If you are, I've seen people go, I'm not the creative type. First of all, I believe everybody is creative. You're just not everybody's artistically creative. Um, if you come up with very creative solutions at work, you are creative. If you're a scientist and you come up with brilliant ideas, that's creativity. So don't tell me you're not creative. You're just not artistically creative. And if you're not artistically creative, maybe this is too much space for you. But if you're maybe if you're in school and you just want to like jot some notes down, or you're going to use this to doodle in class. Maybe this is the right thing for you. If you are a visual a note taker, maybe this is the right space for you. If you're going to be, I used to use this in meetings at my old day job to do note taking for meetings. And I did visual note taking. I could fill this whole space and then get two pages of minutes out of what I did in the space. If that's your style, this might be the right one for you. If you're looking to get rid of a weekly planner and a, and a daily planner and just have one planner, to rule them all, I'm going to recommend the Amplify Planner. It has the weekly layouts. I want to have another video where I show you another um, seven ways to use the, the horizontal layouts. But I mean, and check, you can check out the video where I showed you how to use the horizontal layouts in these seven styles. But I'm going to do another video where I show you another seven ways that you can use the horizontal layouts as a vertical layout. Okay, um, so you have all of that where you can set up your week and then you have your, so you can set up your day. This is as close to an all-in-one planner as I think you can reasonably expect to get. Um, if you're a more visual person like me and you need to have that weekly layout open while you're setting up your day or you need your monthly layout open while you're setting up your day so you're like, oh, okay, yeah, I need, all right, so this is my plan for the first, so let me put it all in here. Then I'm going to suggest getting the Passion Planner daily and then getting a monthly calendar. Um, your other option, especially because neither of these has a full 365 days a year calendar, they both come with four calendars. Um, Amplify has a pocket calendar that's 12 months with blank spaces in it. You can get that and then have your passion planner to plan in, or if you want to do Amplify, get the pocket calendar and then use that for your monthly and you can, and then plan it out each day. But if you need the weekly, if you need to have a weekly planner that's in front of you, if you don't want to be flipping back and forth when you're planning your day, you'll be like here, 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 passion planner and a, a weekly and a passion planner daily. Um, other option, passion plan, if you just need the monthlies, you can do the pocket calendar and the amplifier planner, or you can do the desk calendar that I showed you in a different video and the passion planner daily. Um, overall, I'm not going to recommend one over the other because I use both. I honestly use both of these. Uh, I use this one to keep my sticker business um, on track. And then I use this for my, everything else, including, you know, my most important tasks for the sticker business for the day. Um, so I, I it, like I said, it really depends. I find this one is much better for running my business than the Passion Planner is monthly, weekly, or the weekly or the daily. Um, this just feels more business oriented to me. Um, this Passion Planner, I mean, and, and remember, it's it started as a way to help you get to your passion, to do the thing that you've always wanted to do, whether it's like climb Mount Fuji or um, write a novel or whatever, that's the goal of the passion planner. And I feel like it's still very much geared toward having one goal and then adding that goal into your normal daily life. So if that's what you need your planner for, I have a goal, it is to climb Mount Kilimanjaro then passion planner and you can just plan out your regular daily schedule 
um, and go from there. Exit Amplify is great if you're trying to run a small business, a side hustle, um, anything like that, that where you're very task oriented um, and you need to do something every single day and you don't have time to decorate necessarily. You can decorate this, but if you don't have time to decorate and even like write the, the days of the week out, then I'd say go with the Amplify Planner. Um, but that is basically how I would determine whether you should use a passion planner daily or an Amplify planner for your daily planner. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, leave a comment, let me know which planner you've decided to use. And of course, subscribe to the channel. We upload a new video on Wednesdays, every Wednesday, um, usually at 7 a.m., sometimes a little later in the day. Um, and the only way to be notified if we're going up late and when that video goes up is to subscribe. We no longer do mini videos on this channel. If you would like to see the mini videos, you will have to become a patron. That's patreon.com slash ERW plans. New mini videos go up every week on the Patreon and you can subscribe for th starting at $3 a month to see all the little mini videos that will show you little things in about five minutes or less, like adding a bookmark, um, adding a full page sticker and other just little how to's. Um, also, our patrons help keep this video going. So thank you so much to all the patrons. And again, if you wish to subscribe to support, it's patreon.com slash ERW plans. Once again, thanks so much for watching and stick around to see the next video.